Yes. Okay. We're here today in fourth grade to use some physical principles that we have been um, learning in our science class and apply them to see how far we can get a Hot Wheels car to go. All right. So we're with our first group, Devin, Kat, Kendrick, and Allie. Can you tell me some of the things that you did to put together your um, run, your ramp? For one, we used a lot of tape. Yeah. That really helped. And what we did was we put rulers to kind of guide the car because it was just like going like off the, rulers. the runway. And then we put these boxes because it was still doing that. So. Okay. And what did you do to reduce friction? We used this really not like nasty tape, but it's like silky tape and clear yeah. tape. So it really. Yeah, it's like really slippery yeah. and it's just like. And we also, on the car, we looked at which one had the, like, the loosest wheels. Okay, and why, why were you looking at that? Because if it had the loosest wheels, it would have more speed. Yeah. Because? Because if it was, like, tight wheels, then it would just be, like, but, if, but with, like, loose wheels, it's, like. And it reduces friction. Okay. All right. Let me. And it makes it go farther. All right. Three. So get ready for your first run. Three, two, one. Let's. One. Gracie. All right. I'm here with the second group of fourth graders. Angelina, Hi. Bella, Darius, and Daryl. Now, this group, why don't you tell us about some of the things that you have going on in your for um, your ramping project? We tried to make it steep so it would actually get more speed on the way, yeah. going all the way down. Okay. We use a lot of books. And okay. um, uh, we tried to set it up like the Indy 500. Yeah, the bears. What? What? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, they're the audience? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me back up here a little bit, and we'll get ready for your first run. Okay, ready when you are. Okay. Go, 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 go. Whoops. Okay, let's try again. Okay. now with the third group of fourth grade engineers and this time we have Haley and Jenna and Lexi and Aiden. Why don't you tell me, tell us about your project. We use rulers because they are slippery and so there is uh, less friction to go faster. And we used crayons to hold these two rulers in. And what was the purpose of the rulers on the sides? Um, to keep it on track. Yeah. Okay. We use the crayons and the dry erase racers down here to keep it balanced so when the car went down here, this wouldn't slip off and the car would go backwards onto the ground. Okay. All right, let me back up a little bit and you folks can get ready for your first run. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Oops, now here we go with their second run. One, two, three. And for their third attempt. One, two, three. So it was the first one. Three, three two, two, one, go. <laughs> Success. Okay. I'm going to zoom in on it and let me see it again, please. Let's start right here. Three, two, one. Success. Success. That was a real success, dude. Three, two, two, 
<laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here now with the winning group of um, fourth grade engineers whose vehicle went the longest distance at 14 and one half feet. Um, and it's my understanding that your vehicle actually has been named. What's the name of him? James Oglethorpe. <laughs> Fabulous. All right, and congratulations to all the fourth grade engineers.